Hi, thanks for joining us for our second session of Think Central. Today we're going to discuss managing classes and creating and viewing class rosters. So once we know that we are logged into Think Central, we need to click on Classes and Students and then click on Manage or Add. Either one will work fine. It'll take us to the same location. You'll see that I already have a couple of classes created. This one I actually have created myself, and you get a generic class with each Think Central account as well. But you want to click on Add Class here. Simply give your class a name. Select your grade from the drop-down list. And after you've selected your grade, then it's going to tell you what products are available to put in your class what resources. And really you're going to feel pretty safe just checking all of these, although I don't know why it's giving me a grade 4 here on my animated math models. So I'm going to click everything except for that. Don't worry, it won't give your students access to tests or anything. But be sure you click Save here. Once you've clicked Save, then scroll down and click Assign Students you'll see that I only have three students listed here. One student that I created myself and then two that came with my account automatically. If your district admin or school ma admin of your Think Central account have put all of the students from your class or even your district or school in, they'll all be listed here by school alphabetically. And what you can do is you can say, well just show me students that are in just certain grade levels and say find and at least that will sort those students that are just in your grade level. You can actually hold down your control key and select, no, select more than one student at a time. And once all of your students are selected, and you'll probably want to have your roster in front of you when you do that, you can click on Add and it will move them over. If you accidentally click on Add All, and in this case it's not very clear because Add All is only two students, if you accidentally click on Add All, you can always remove all, or you can also just remove one student at a time by just clicking and removing them and putting them back over here. But notice this says Class Roster, and now I can click on Done. I've created my class, I've put resources into my class, and if there's ever a time that I want to actually view my class roster, I can just click here, View My Class Roster, it will list the students that are in my class. It will show me the username and password. I can actually export my class roster to a spreadsheet so I have their lists. And I can click on their individual records and actually see what his password is or not actually see it, but see the password here so I can edit the password if I want to. And really that's all there is involved in setting up a class and putting your class roster in. Um, do know that if you ever want to fill in this information, you can. It's certainly not necessary, it's not required, but it is great for generating some reports if at some time you want to. So thank you. That concludes this session in managing our student accounts.